Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Rayron. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at kind of a quick snapshot of one of my favorite mangas and animes of all time. Uh, this is Sailor Moon, the first volume of the manga series. And I just recently just f uh, finished rereading this particular volume. It took me about a day to read it. I'm a fast reader when it comes to manga. Uh, typically I can kill one of these books, usually two to three hours. Especially if it's something that really gets me hooked, gets me really into the lore. But um, when it comes to this particular book, when it comes to Sailor Moon, um, if you guys have watched the 90s show, this manga and the 90s show differ in many different ways. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just going to do a quick snapshot of Volume 1. But uh, there are some significant differences. Um, in the 90s show, there's a lot of fluff episodes when it comes to um, the villains. And usually the villains are stretched out when it comes to story. They have multiple sub-villains that Sailor Moon has to attack. But when it comes to Volume 1, they kind of go through the Negaverse uh, villains pretty quickly. Um, it's a really fast pace, and it's not as drawn out as it is in the 90s. Now, I don't know about Crystal. I'd need to rewatch Crystal to see if they actually follow the, the manga version more or not. But... Uh, in Volume 1, just to give you guys a quick snapshot, uh, Sailor Moon basically finds the first four Sailor Scouts. So they find Mercury, they find Mars, they find um, Jupiter, and then they. Uh, this one doesn't cover Venus yet. So this ends on the cliffhanger with uh, Tuxedo Mask, but... Um, yeah, that's basically the first volume in a nutshell. I love this series. It is a 12-part series. And yeah, that's basically what Volume 1 is all about. It's all about finding the scouts quickly. Uh, they go through the first... I think it's the same. First four villains of the Negaverse. So again, it's very fast-paced. But if you want to know more about the differences, I'll just leave it that uh, you guys can actually read the manga. Because I don't want to go too in detail with this. I just want to give my review on it and kind of the Cliff Notes version. But I love this volume. It's a great introduction if you want to get into the anime. But again, um, definitely would advise that this is not your typical 90s um, anime that you saw back in the day with Cartoon Network. Uh, it is different. It is, has different villains. The... Um, the way just the characters interact are different. They give a lot more uh, focus on Tuxedo Mask, which is what I really like about the manga versus the anime. Uh, he actually does more stuff. And the way they interact is definitely different. But uh, I definitely enjoyed Volume 1. And I'll definitely probably end up doing the rest of the series as well. Just want to get a feeler for these manga series. I definitely want to do more of these manga. It's definitely something I want to get involved with. Um, currently reading... What is it? The the Rising Shield Hero? Yeah, the Rising of the Shield Hero is one that I'm reading on. Uh, Blue Purple is another one that... Oh, no, excuse me. Blue Period is what I'm currently reading on as well. I'm trying to, reading, trying to read four books a day is kind of my plan. But, uh, yeah, guys, this is my quick snapshot of the Volume 1. Definitely recommend it. And with that, I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy, guys.